Bet you, Luke. And if the positions were reversed, I'd want to believe my son was incapable of such a monstrous act. But now you're pushing it. You're talking about my daughter, who is the victim here. But because we've been friends for so long, I'm gonna ask you to leave. Fair enough. to start thinking about what you're going to wear to court. Image is very important. I don't think there will be a trial. This whole thing will blow over, you'll see. Uh, you're no fun. I would have a little more drama. Sorry, can't accommodate. Well, this is a very hard time for you, so we're going to give you some privacy. Trial. Not if I don't want one, and I don't. But never mind. I'm gonna go back to the library. You wanna come? I'm gonna stay here. Are you sure? Positive. <laughs> you come. I'll be fine. Okay. Did I just hear it? You're serious about dropping the charges against Ethan? The only way I can think to avoid a trial is for Ethan to cop a plea. And if he knew that Christina were going to testify, he might very well do that. And then maybe then something in this would be right. For you. For you. For your sense of right and wrong and justice. You're making Christina's situation all about your stuff. I was doing the same exact thing. I know. That's I, I get it. Do, do me a favor. Humor me, okay? Just pretend I'm Christina. You're the defense lawyer. Put Sam, me on the stand. Then you can realize what you would have to go that. through. I know what happens in court. I do this for a living. Remember, I've seen many a victim take this Yeah, stand. but not when the victim is your daughter. Come on. Mom, I get it. I understand. I want to see Ethan go to prison. I want to see him tried and convicted for what he did to Christina. I get that. I just, I believe that it, it would empower her if she faced him and, and it would give her a sense of closure. Yeah. Christina doesn't think so. Ethan has a right to, what do you lawyers call it, a, a, a vigorous defense. It is what it is. She's going to have to get up on that stand and relive that night over and over again. And she is telling us loud and clear that is not what she wants to do. We have to listen to her. I know it was Kiefer who hurt Chrissy. The guy is a jerk. I know. I've been thinking the same thing. So I got to go home and I can make Christina see how foolish she's being for protecting no. this creep. No, no. You're not going to help your sister if you show up telling her how stupid she is. She's having a really hard time dealing with this. She's blaming herself for the whole thing, Michael. For being hit? That's crazy. I know, but that's what happens, okay? It's a lot more complicated than you showing up, ordering her to tell the truth. It's not going to happen. So what? We let the lie stand? Let Ethan take the blame for what Kiefer did? What kind of world do we live in, Mom, where the wrong people pay and the guilty go free? I know how hard it is to be silent, believe me, I know, but it's the best thing you can do right now. Now what? Because this is Christina's tragedy. And she has to figure out how she incorporates this in the rest of her life, and you know, she will. And, and the truth is going to come out. But until all this happens, the one thing you can do for Christina right now is to stay here until Sonny's trial is over. Don't forget our goal, okay? You and Sonny, you both being free, 
to be with the people who love you. Okay. I'll stay. says that you're too distracted, that you're not focusing on the trial. I paid Diane a lot of money to worry. I'm fine. I'm not so sure, Sonny. You know what? I just, look, I'm the defendant. I, all I gotta do is show up on time, not dress too flashy, and act misunderstood. Yeah, but see, you don't, you don't see how you're wearing your hatred for Ethan on your face. Well, I'm You know mind. that the jury's gonna watch you like a hawk. They're gonna watch every move you make, every expression, and you're gonna interpret it to mean something despite what the judge says. You get on the stand in the state of mind, you might as well hold your hands out for the cuffs. Like I said, Diane, like exactly. You're not just fighting for your freedom, you're fighting for Michael's. Please don't lose sight of that because everything we've done will go out the window. Somewhere down the line, I'll get justice for my daughter. I'll get, th I'll get through the trial. Okay. Lou came by. He's making a case for his pathetic excuse for his son. He accused Christina of lying. This whole situation is this just... This whole situation, thing. I thought, look, hey, you know what? I, it would, I thought it would be easier just to make Ethan disappear, but I don't want that animal to haunt my daughter for the rest of her life, so I'm going to do something I'm not comfortable with. I'm going to let the justice system do its job. Right? Ethan will be tried and convicted. Well, you know, he'll uh, pay his debt. But I tell you right now, if he walks, all bets are off. I need to speak to you about the charges against Ethan Lovett. Took you long enough? my makeup. Okay, well, maybe now I can answer my question. Why are you dropping the charges against Ethan? He didn't hurt me, Kiefer. <gasps> and I don't want to lie in court, and he shouldn't be punished for something he didn't do. Okay, so what happens now, okay? You drop the charges and you file against me? You can't do that. That is so wrong. It's unfair. Hey, what's unfair, Kiefer? Why is Kiefer so upset? Uh, I was, I was just telling Kay that it's not right that Ethan will have to pay for what he did to her. Alexis looks tense. Maybe that's good for me. Dan Auerbach has heard from my daughter. My daughter has decided not to press charges. Auerbach is not moving forward. Ethan could be released. Physically ill to stand by and do nothing after what Ethan did to my daughter. Are you doing what Christina asked you? Well, that's the only reason, Jason, because, you know, if I kill him, she's gonna know I did it. Just like my mother. She's gonna blame herself. After Dee died, no one talked about it. She didn't ask me anything, but she knew that I, that I was the one who got him killed. And all she did then was, you know, it, it was her fault. You would think she would, she would have been happy that the son of a bitch was dead, but he had beaten her down so bad. I don't want that for my daughter, and I, I gotta stop this before it poisons her life. And if it means the only way my daughter's gonna heal is, is by Ethan being tried and convicted, then I can live with that. But I want him watched. Oh, God, you're both here. I'm really worried about Michael. He got a hold of his cell phone. He called Christina. He knows she was beaten? Yep. And when I got there, he was ready to swim home. <laughs>